Hi, I'm Ben Teleport, and today I'll be walking you through our application access guide. So let's dive straight in. To get started, in this tutorial, we're going to do um, three things. We're going to launch Grafana in a docking container, install Teleport and configure it to proxy Grafana, and then access Grafana through Teleport. A few prerequisites. You can set this up locally, but I'd recommend setting it on a virtual machine. I'm going to just fire up a simple droplet to get started. while we go through the rest of the prerequisites. Next up, you need to make sure that the cluster is accessible, um, set up the right ports and firewall rules. You'll need a domain name and um, access the DNS to update the DNS records. One thing that's sort of unique, you need to add a wildcard domain name. So teleport will be accessible on teleport.example.com, but you also need to add a record for star.teleport.example.com. And I'll walk you through how to set this up um, next. Okay, the instance looks like it's set up. Okay, so let's access it. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to install Docker. The download speeds are a bit slow, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, Docker has now been installed. So we're just running uh, Docker 19 and let's go back to the guide. So here we have the option to start Grafana. In this case, we're going to um, modify this a little bit. If we were to start this in our current setup, it would be available on the public IP address of our DigitalOcean host since all ports are currently open. So I'm going to modify this to only be available on uh, locally. Dot one. Okay, so container ls, you can see that it's working. And we can do, let's say, like curl port 3000, just confirm it's running. Yeah, the login has been found. But if we were to go to, let's say, the port, nothing is available. So we're going to set up teleport to provide access to it. Next thing, we're going to install teleport. Before we install Teleport, we're going to set up the DNS record so it has times to propagate. In my case, we've mentioned teleport.example.com. I'm going to set this up on DevOps apps.astro.earth, which is the domain name I have. So, um, DevOps apps. And this is the IP address of my host. And I need to also add a wildcard apps. And the IP address of the host, same one again. Um, this could also be like a C name in your setup. And so, okay, let's download Teleport. We have this downloads page, but I am going to get it from our uh, package manager. So let's set that up. And then just an update. And then just install Teleport. So you can see here Teleport is installed, version 6. Next up, we can configure it. To configure it, we're going to be using this very helpful tool we have called teleport.configure. We just add this into a scratch pad here. So you're going to add it into the terminal. Okay. So there's a few things we're going to edit here. The first one would be the cluster name. The cluster name should match the URL of the application where it's going to be hosted. So in our case, it's going to be um, DevOps apps dot asteroid earth and my email address is going to be ben at go teleport com. The email address is needed because we use Let's Encrypt to get these certificates for you. You can just double check DevOps apps. 
Okay, everything is looking good. And it's writing out to a file. So we've written this file out. So for us to come here, you can see that this is an example file configuration, which has the auth service, SSH service, a proxy service. And we're going to start it also with an application service. And um, that's the next step. So we're going to start Teleport. It's going to start with the roles proxy, auth, and app. And we have our application Grafana. So let's fire this up. So now when I go to DevOps apps, Ashcroid Earth, we check the logs. Okay, it's all configuring and we have everything set up, but we have to sign in with Teleport and we've not set it up yet. So that's the next thing we need to do is set up how to sign in with Teleport. So I'm going to just open a new window. And follow the guide. So we have this administrative tool called tcuddle, and we're going to add a user. Um, in our case, add the role access, and I'm going to just change this just to my name. And here it says the user has been created, but requires a password. Share this with the user and to provide access. Once this is set up, you may want to look at either adding our GitHub if you're a community user or um, adding a uh, IDC or a SAML connector for some enterprise users. So I'm just picking a password and I'm using Google Authenticator. And here we have it. So we have Teleport running. We have our application here. And let's load it. I think the first time it's a little bit of caching, so it may take a little bit. It'll be quicker afterwards. Okay, so now you can see we are on a URL which is grafana.devops.com hyphen or devops hyphen apps ashroy.earth. And so in the future you could send this to the rest of your team to log into Grafana or they could go through Teleport and have this sort of catalog of all of their applications. So if I come in here, since it's Grafana, it's just the default image. I'm going to just create a new login. And so now we have um, the Grafana instance available and secured using Teleport. So this brings me to the end. You can also do other things as you can set a sort of another domain name. Um, and we have a few different options here for next steps. You can dive deeper, learning about how to connect applications with application access. Or if you have a homegrown one, you can integrate with JWT. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to leave them below. Thank you.